Hi, this is Kenny from Entity Development. Welcome to our video tutorial for statistical data points. Working with statistical data on the original 10b2 calculator was difficult, but the 10b2 Financial Calculator app offers you increased power and flexibility when working with statistics and features a dedicated spreadsheet style window for working with your numbers. You can access the statistical data window by hitting Sigma Plus or using the View menu. This window allows you to enter an X value and, if you're interested, a Y value. If you want more lines, just hit the plus button and another line will appear. To enter data, just double click inside one of the fields in a row and type in your numbers with your keyboard. If you don't put a value in the X column, the calculator will consider that to be zero when it does its math. If you've entered some data points and want to delete any of them, just click on the rows you want to get rid of and click the delete button in the top right or hit delete on your keyboard. You can click individual rows, or if you want to select a range of rows, you can just click the first one, then hold down shift and click the last row. You can also select non-consecutive rows by holding down command and clicking different rows. If you'd like to reorder your data points, just select the rows you want to move, as I described, then click and drag them to wherever you want them. Let's practice these operations. We want to add five data points, so we'll click add point until we have at least that many rows. First I put 10 in, in the X column and 12 in the Y. Then I'm going to have 0 and 13, 30 and 11.2, 70 and 16, 50 and 14.7. Okay, whoops, my first data point, the 10, 12 one, is from a different problem. I entered it by mistake. So I click that row and click delete or hit the delete key on my keyboard. Also, it won't affect the math, but I like seeing my data points in order of ascending X. So I click and drag the 70, 16 line and drop it at the bottom of the list. I want to see the graph, what the graph looks like for this set of data points, so I hit the chart button. That looks pretty neat. Mostly linear with a not very steep slope. At the top of the chart, you can change the color scheme of the graph. We recommend the white color scheme if you'd like to print. If you'd like to save this series of data points for later, just click Add to Recents and it will be saved to your recent calculations, which is found in the View menu here. Check out our other two videos for statistical functions to see what we can do with these values once we've entered them. Thanks for watching and make sure you get your 10b2 Financial Calculator app from the App Store for iPhone, iPad, Android, and Mac OS. If you have any questions about this example, please feel free to email us at theteam at inadaydevelopment.com.